Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of the Real Life Mod. And as you guys can see, man, we are indeed your boy, Michael, here, man. We're going to go ahead and uh, do some repo towing today. Uh, because I did notice that most of you guys did like when we did do the repo towing uh, with Franklin. And we're going to do more with him, but I want to leave uh, some dunk repo towing for him. Uh, we do, we have like, I think two or three dunks that we got to repo with your boy, um, Michael here, but we will be repoing, you know, regular cards this episode for the most part. Uh, let me go ahead and turn these instru this instrumental up real quick if you guys don't mind, because I noticed in the videos it's not as loud as it could be. I think, I think this may be a little bit too loud. Let me see it. Right, right, right about there. That should be good enough, man. Let me know if that's good enough for you guys, because I know before in the videos it wasn't as loud and you can barely hear it uh, in the videos, man. But all right, so you guys already know, man. We did do this garage in the last two episodes. We just finished it up. We got our police charge, uh, police charger down there. The Range Rover down there. I almost said something else, man. That's why my voice kind of sounded like I almost said a different word. And then you know, you look over there. We got the the Z01, the Porsche, the uh, GT 350R, the Viper, the Beamer come up here and you got the Lexus R8 Charger Tesla and uh, Infinity man we got cars for days man your boy Michael got cars for days but I think we're probably gonna go ahead and drive the Beamer today because you know we just bought this guy and I really do like buying it we got to go and pick up the uh, tow truck so let me make sure I unlock it because right now I'm unlocking every single car except the Beamer sheesh all right, so we're just going to go ahead and make our way down. Now, we got like six cars, six or seven cars that we got to repo today. Uh, so this should be a decently long episode. And I know for the most part that most of you guys do like this um, this dunk tow truck. So we will be using this guy um, to do these repos, man. You guys see that plate? TNXX on that guy. Ooh, on the Beamer, TNXX. You can't tell me that don't look good, bro. This M6 Grand Sport was probably one of the best cars that I could have bought this man, Michael, man. I kid you not. Alright, so we gotta come down here to Simeon's shop because he's the one that ordered these repos. We gotta go ahead and go pick up the flatbed. Uh, not the flatbed, actually. Hold up. Whoa, I said that wrong. Not the flatbed. We're gonna go. Wait, hold up. That's spawning? Is my. Hold up. Did they, did they turn. Oh no, random cost is off. Okay, so I have no idea why my ambient events are still spawning. I'm guessing it didn't turn them off, but. Oh, but they shoot me. Okay, alright. Don't put no bullet. No, they put a bullet in my beamer. I still got vehicle god mode on though. Hold on, let me turn this off. I gotta turn vehicle god mode off because they did just put a bullet in my beamer. Come on! Right when I turn it off? Really? Ri Motherfucker. Right when I turn right when I turn my freaking god mode off. Yeah, you're gonna take a you gonna take a couple bullets. You gonna, gonna take a couple bullets. Alright, now we we good, man. We good. Godly man. Right when I turn vehicle god mode off. This dude wants to freaking sit here and ram my car all right we get a free fix for that because that was not my fault all right that was not my fault but let's go ahead and get on down here we're about to pick like i was saying man we're about to pick up the flatbed um because we got some repos to do for i mean not flatbed man why do i keep saying that i'm so used to picking up the flatbed for repos we're not even using the flatbed this time we're using the uh tow truck dunk man so we're gonna pick that guy up and uh yo i wasn't even in your lane dude well i, I got in his lane by accident at the end but I wasn't in his lane when he was worried about me coming over. But we're gonna go ahead and pick up this uh, tow truck. And uh, I know most of you guys do like it. Some people said they didn't really like it, but for the most part, most of you guys do like it. So uh, I will be using it. And more than more than half of you guys, well, at least most of you guys, uh, told me that you wanted me to uh, go ahead and keep it in my game too, because I was gonna take it out of my game after that video I did with it. But most of you guys said keep it in the game. So. We keeping it in the game now, my dude. We're keeping it in the game. We're gonna be doing repos with it more often. We're uh, we're gonna allow Franklin to use it to do some more dunk repos, um, and uh, you know, be able to. He's gonna be able to buy those dunks too after, um, you know, we actually finish up the repo and stuff. So, um, you know, it's all good, man. It's all good. Should have some decent uh, repos and stuff to get done, man. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode. So there it is, right there. We're gonna go ahead and park the beamer i'm gonna probably it will park it in front because i really don't feel like uh i really don't feel like parking it back there so we, we just park it right here this way no car can block my door and when we come back to pick up the beamer we can just get right on in it there we go let's go ahead and whoa where's he i think my controller might have disconnected yep controller disconnected is it 
Is he is it still connected? What is going on? Hold on, man. I gotta I'm gonna disconnect it and then let it reconnect. Alright, that was that was some cheese right there. Like it disconnected, and then when I went to my <laughs> went to use my keyboard and mouse, it still wouldn't work. Alright, so there we go. Wow, I didn't even on you see what I'm saying? I was looking at the flat bit. I mean the tow truck and didn't even unlock the the tow truck. I unlocked my beamer. Alright. So I got the alarm going off right now. I'm trying to fix this cord real quick so that it doesn't disconnect anymore because I forgot to do something. That's why it disconnected in the first place. But alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We got a couple of uh, you know pickups to do and stuff. Uh we actually gotta pick up our Camaro from right here. I forgot that's where we left it. So we gotta go ahead and pick that up. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and start up. First, we gotta go and pick up this car first, because this is like this wasn't even a repo actually. This was like a um an emergency pickup. This dude had called and said that uh, his Ferrari on rims uh, was um, not steering properly and it wasn't steering, like the steering wasn't really working correctly. And he said it had nothing to do with his power steering and all of that, like everything was fine, but it just wouldn't steer the correct way. So we gotta go ahead and go pick it up and tow it. Now you normally would use a flatbed for an exotic car, but uh, he said this Ferrari is sitting up pretty high enough to be, um, lift it up with just a regular tow truck and can just be towed regularly so we're gonna drop this off at um we're actually not even gonna drop this off at Simmons. we're gonna drop this off at the uh the uh shop down there that does uh services and stuff on cars and it was you know slowly turning into a dealership they actually need some more cars too so they're probably gonna give michael a call to uh, deliver some more cars real soon uh, but they do need some more cars but we're about to drop off a car that they're supposed to be fixing uh, which is this Ferrari dunk right here. So there you go, man. He said the steering was all screwed up and stuff. Like, we couldn't even get in to try and steer it. So we just got to hook it up from the front and uh, just hope that, uh, you know, we can get it hooked up. And so I think my winch is all the way down. I think, it, oh, yeah, my winch was all the way down already. Okay. All right. Then you have to lift that up. So See, now we got this bad boy lifted up. It doesn't even need to steer, man. That's the whole reason for them calling this type of tow truck because we didn't need to get in it to try and steer it. So the shop is like right here, which is actually right around the corner, not even that far. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, make our way on over there. Oh, man, look, 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 look at this dude, man. Look at this dude. All right, I'm going to just go. I forgot about GTA doing that when um, using this tow truck. But uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and drop this off. See, this is why you don't put rims on an exotic car, for the most part at least. You can do it, but for the most part, most people don't do it. And that's for this exact reason right here. The steering is completely destroyed right now, man. It needs to be fixed. Probably going to be like a twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 fix or something like that. And I know it's probably not even super serious, but... I mean, well, it's got to be serious enough to where he had to call for a tow truck and couldn't even drive this thing anymore. So here we go, man. Mosley Auto Service, man. That's the name of it. I couldn't even get the name but this is where we're dropping this off at all right we can go ahead and drop it off right here there we go all right so our first drop off has been completed that's what i'm talking about man all right hold on my winch going back now all right so we got uh, a couple more pickups see our camaro is right here you know the drag camaro we gotta pick that up once we're uh, close to being done and uh, go ahead and you know get that taken back to our house uh, but we have to have to go over here and uh, we have a, uh, a repo to do this is a um, car that was actually hidden they was hiding this car from us and you know you know how these gang members do they got they get cars in there they try and hide them and then they suck at hiding it's like they forget one day and then next thing you know it's not hidden anymore man but we're gonna go ahead and go get this it's actually like back it can I turn on this road Ooh, can I fit down this? Hold up. Let me back up a little bit. Got some forgies on my tow truck. Oh, we can fit down this. Okay. All right. We actually didn't even use any of our lights, but here's the first car. Let's go ahead and drop that winch. I might have just go ahead and hook up to it from the back, man. I'm not even finna, I'm not even finna try and get in it, try and find no keys, no nothing. Because uh, it is rear wheel drive, so if we hook it up from the back, the front wheels will easily move without any issues. So, get this guy hooked up. Oh, it didn't even lift the wheel. We're going to have to drag it. It doesn't even lift the wheels up. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Never mind. Okay. See, look, the alarm's going off and stuff. I ain't got time for it. I ain't got time for it. Let's go ahead and turn these lights on. I need to install the um, 
you know, the higher, better lighting so that that's more, um, more brighter. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I, I forgot to do that, actually. So, let's go ahead and get this dropped off at Simeon's shop, man. This is Simeon's uh, little repo right here. This is a gang dunk right here that, that obviously they just figured they didn't have to pay for it, which I, you know, don't understand why. You know, they do all these, they did all this customization to it. And then don't even want to pay for it no more. Like, come on. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead. We're gonna pull in the back here. I'm gonna kill somebody. Okay. Learn to drive. I know how to drive. All right, so we're gonna eventually run out of spots if we don't get the keys for these cars. So I'm gonna just have to like pull most of them uh, up just to the side of the building here, where it says no parking and stuff. I'm just going to be parking them uh, for the most part, like right here. So I'm going to pull this one all the way up right here. We got to go back over there because there's another gang dunk on Grove Street that we got to go and pick up. So there we go. We went ahead and unhooked from that. So let's go ahead and make our way to Grove Street. There's a whole other dunk over there that's hidden. Uh, this is actually a Crips whip. And I know it's a Crips whip. We're going to leave our lights on too. I'm not even going to turn those off. Uh, but this is a Crips whip that we got to go ahead and pick up and it's obviously hidden for a reason Well, it's not even really hidden. They just ain't paying for it So it's like we, we just gotta go get it. I don't see why they get why do they even buy these old-school cars put rims on them and then stop paying for them? I don't see the I don't see the reasoning behind that Like that is probably not even like the smartest thing to do in my opinion Like why don't you just pay it off and then put the rims on there and then you can keep it that's all you gotta do, man. That's all you gotta do. All right, man. <laughs> I can't believe Simeon even has this tow truck right now. Might have uh, Franklin buy this guy right here, buy one of these tow trucks. If we have Franklin buy this tow truck, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be wild. Cause then he gonna be doing a lot of unnecessary towing, man. He's gonna be stealing rival gangs' dunks and everything, just cause he can, bro. Just cause he can. But all right, so uh, we're pulling up. Oh, it's actually not even on Grove Street. I forgot. It's near Grove Street. That's what I meant to say. All right, man. Let's go to get on over here. There we go, man. It's on convenient. Uh, there we go right there. We're just going to hook up to the back of it. Let's go ahead and drop that winch all the way down. There we go. And I got this cord getting in the way. That's why I can't even turn my steering all the way to to the full side. There we go, my winches all the way down. We go hooked up. Alright, this is another rear wheel drive car, so we can easily drag this car without a problem. I had to wait until he got off the ground. It's still gonna touch the ground a little bit once we take dips and stuff in the road. But uh, that isn't too bad, man. But uh, let me know in the comment section, if you guys haven't already told me what you think about this, um, this tow truck, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Cause I actually like it. I ain't even gonna lie. I like it. I don't see anything wrong with it, to be honest. It's just people. People like to say it's a tow truck. Why would you put rims on a tow truck? Like, why does it matter? I didn't put any rims on here. Like, I didn't make this dunk. My boy Map Trap made this dunk. Uh, but you know, man, it's like it, it's something different. It's something cool. Like people, people like to be all extra with stuff, man. When it comes to cars and stuff, people like to. People like to do a, a lot of extra stuff when it comes to cars. Like, they act like cars have to be 100% functional. Like, like, yo, have a little bit of fun sometimes. Especially this, especially since this is a game. Like, have a little bit of fun, man. Everything in this game doesn't have to be 100% realistic, man. I mean, even though a, a tow truck on rims might not be 100% realistic, people will eventually, like, I'm pretty sure somebody has tried this in real life. Somebody has tried it, which is the reason why it's been tried in the game. Like, everything that's been tried in a video game has happened in real life more than likely. So, you know, obviously, you know, it's not anything, it's not too bad. Actually, you know, like I did say, I do like it a little bit. It's not that bad, man. It's not that bad. It's not like we're, it's not like we're just in this thing all the time, towing nonstop and, you know, all of that. We're barely ever even using this tow truck. Like this is my second video with it, and I've had it, and I've had it for about a good four or five days. Now I don't even know how I'm about to park this because I kind of want to reverse. See if I can like scoot this in front of the Camaro. Let's see if I can. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I can. I can reverse it. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and reverse it and see if I can scoot it into the Camaro. Oh shoot, I gotta I gotta not turn though. It's like it's real stiff with the turning. Gotta be real slow with it. There we go. We got it. We got it. Who would have thought, man? You really can't even. You're not even supposed to do this with this type of truck. Like, you're not supposed to reverse with a car on your hitch. Like, on, I mean, on your hook. You know, with this type of truck. But I believe. I think that was the last dunk right there. We only had three dunks to go ahead and do. The rest are, are regular cars. Uh, like, we have one at the valet job that we gotta go and pick up. Which, um, apparently. Oh, these are all my cars. I was like, whoa, what is, what, what is all that? All right, but we have one over here. It's like they came over here, ignored Valet. Valet didn't want to park them because they didn't want to pay for Valet. So um, they decided to just park their car out front and just go in like it was nothing. So we're going to go ahead and make our way down there to go and um, pick that up. We're going to turn these lights off, but we don't really need them right now. So we're going to go ahead and make our way down here to go and pick up this... Um, this car I'm pretty sure I think they said it was like a a really expensive car like this car costs like a couple a couple hundred thousand like it, it was a really expensive car it's like uh, a luxury car it's not even a exotic car or anything well it's kind of well it's exotic for the type of car it is but uh, it's a luxury car it's more on the luxury side than uh, it is on the exotic fast side so uh, we will have to handle this one with care for show man for show I wish I wish this tow truck was a little faster though, man. These tow truck mods, man, jeez. You gotta have that torque, man. You gotta be able to pull. They rather have the pulling power rather than the um, rather than the power to actually uh, actually be able to pull stuff at a certain speed. But it's all good, man. So three cars have been towed so far. We still have like uh, four more to go, I believe. So we're pulling up on the fourth one now. We're almost at our valet job. All right, man. Look at this, man. Come on now. All right, I'm going to go around this dude because, you know, we're not going to sit at all these lights. I'm trying to follow the road for the most part, though. Follow all the road rules and stuff. Like, there's a stop sign right here. I should have waited, but YOLO. All right, we got some cars coming, too. Wow, this man gonna get in the lane at the last second. All right, there we go. So we're gonna pull on in and see what's up with this car. Cause I actually don't even know what car this is. We're about to find out. Oh, it's a Bentley. I know that front grill anywhere. So uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, these dudes over here, they ain't never seen no tow truck like this. Oh, it's a Bentley Musang. I think that's the name of it, if I'm not mistaken. A Bentley Musang. So we're going to go ahead and hook up. They left their front wheel turned, so we're definitely going to hook up to the front. Uh, we might... They they were, Yeah, they refused to uh, pay valet, so we don't have any keys or anything. They're just going to come outside, and their car going to be gone. So let's go ahead and get this Bentley Musang down here to um, Simeon's. This really isn't even a repo either, but... Um, it's going to Simeon's. Okay, it's going to Simeon's. All right, we gotta go ahead and turn our lights on too. Here we go, man. Here we go. But look at that Range Rover, bro. I swear, Range Rovers look so good in matte black. It's crazy. Like it don't make any sense how good those cars look matte black. All right, let's go ahead and go ahead and make our way down here. Picked up. The Bentley Musang, Milsane. Hopefully, I'm saying that name right because I really don't even know. Uh, this type of Bentley isn't even one of my favorites. I don't really like it like that. Uh, but Bentley is starting to grow, like starting to grow on me because I'm really starting to like Bentley a lot more. The, the Continental GT was the only one that I liked, but now I'm starting to like I'm starting to like the Musang just a little bit. But it's still not it's still not something that I really really like. Like, you know, it's still not, it's not at the top of my, um, you know, it's not at the top of my, um, you know, picks and whatnot. It's, it's not even in the middle of my picks. I'd probably not buy a Bentley saying I'd rather get a Continental GT or, you know, uh, something else, um, you know, along the lines of a Continental GT. 
Because I just like the Continental a lot more. I think Bentley should have stuck with uh, two doors instead of going to the four doors. I think the four door, uh, the four door Bentley just don't look that good with four doors. Besides the Bentayga, I like the Bentayga a lot. That's a surprise though. I, I love the Bentayga. That thing looks really nice. I love the Bentayga. The Bentayga and the Continental GT, I think those are the only two Bentleys that I'd probably ever buy in my lifetime. If I could afford them ever. Those would be the only two that I'd ever buy. Because, man, those things there, boy. I love the Bentley. Con the Continental GT has been, like, one of my favorite cars for a while. It's just not one of my top favorites. That's why I never really say it whenever you guys ask me what's my favorite car. Because it's not really, like, one of my number one favorites or my top ten favorites. But I would get a Bentley, I would get a Bentley Continental GT before I get in almost any other luxury car. I get a Continental GT or a, um, I get a Continental GT or a, um, what you call it, man? A, um, a Bentayga. Definitely, I, I definitely get a Bentayga. I have no idea where I want to park this. What car did I hit? Oh, the, we hit the Bentley. The Bentley just set its alarm off. Alright, hold up, man. Um, let me see. I'm going to park it right here. Cause I I should have came in this way, I should have came in on this side instead of uh, coming out on this side. That way I could have been able to reverse this behind that um, Caprice. That would have been way better, way better of a spot for this car. But it's all good, man. We'll go ahead and I think my winch is all the way down. Yeah, my winch is all the way down already. Go to raise that back up. All right, let's go ahead. We got a couple more cars. Uh, to go ahead and pick up we got just three more to go we got two cars over here by the beach and we have one over here that didn't pay its parking meter but it's also a repo so that's the main reason why we got to go and get this it didn't pay its parking meter and then they later found out that this car is up for repo so they decided to go to call Simeon like yo we got your car over here we know you want it you want to go ahead and send somebody to come pick it up because uh, we got the uh, the owner they, they're not getting in it they decided to go ahead and try and park over here and didn't even pay their parking meter so they got a meter uh meter stick them a thing I, I forgot what they call it but you know the little things they put on your wheels whenever you don't pay your uh, parking meters yeah them thing my boss man uh they got one of the well they had one on there they took it off because they know we're coming now so once we get there it should be off and all we have to do is uh hook up we should be able to hook up without any problems Alright man, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode so far, man. These repos and towings have been uh, pretty easy, man. We've been we've had a pretty easy work day today so far. Nah, I mean, man, pretty easy work day. Oh, whoa! What kind of what kind of turning was that dude about to do, man? My game started lagging right there, so I didn't, I couldn't even like keep straight for a second. All right, so let's see if we can find this. That would have been right here obviously further up all right here we go right here. oh Lamborghini Aventador well no wonder this car is up for repo I know he probably had like a forty thousand dollar payment or something all right so let's go ahead we're gonna hook up to this thing now this would have been better with the flatbed I don't think we should have um, came to get this with uh, the tow truck because this is something that you shouldn't tow like this. But, um, you know, it is what it is. This is the only truck that we have available right now. So we're going to rock with this. Let's go ahead and get this back down to Simeon's. Go ahead and get this back down to Simeon's, man. This is an all-wheel drive car, too. So I'm surprised that we're even able to move this thing. Uh, normally, you know, all-wheel drive cars... Uh, whenever they're in park and stuff, all four wheels are completely stopped and you can't move it at all. So, uh, we're virtually dragging this guy right now. If this was real life, we'd be dragging it. But, um, you know, we, I, I'd say we, I'd say we got the keys because, um, when they had the owner come out, he gave up the keys. He was like, bump it, take it back. I don't even want it. I can't even pay for it. Whoa! Come on now. We need this thing to come back in one piece now. We don't need no hops back there. We gotta get some gas too. We're almost out of gas. Yep, see, there go the gas. There go the gas mod telling us we need to get some gas. 
So let's hurry up and drop this off so we can go and get some gas. I ain't trying to run out of gas in this. This dude right here may hit my car. He better not hit that Lambo, man. Alright, we probably should go get some gas with the Lambo on the back, to be honest. Actually, yeah, let's go do that. Let's go get some gas now. Instead of uh, dropping this off first. Because I don't want to take no chances of running out of gas. And, you know, we're, we're literally, like, right down the street from the gas station right now. I don't know why, but the winch, yo, the winch is, like, stuck to the left. Like, you see that? The winch is stuck. The cart? Oh, damn. Come on, man. Getting damage on the Lambo, man. Chill out. All right, here we go. Gas station right here. We're going to go to pull on in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll get some gas on the far right. So that way we can go ahead and um, easily go ahead and pull out to the left to be able to go back to Simeon's. See, this thing eats gas, bro. Damn, tow trucks eat gas. All right, let's go ahead and make our way back to uh, Simeon's now. We'll go ahead and drop this off, and then we got two more cars left to go ahead and uh, pick up. Let me see what time is it, man? It's, uh, what? okay, 1.55. Making good time, man. Making good time. Let me go ahead and I gotta set that back to enable that back on my battery. Need my phone to be fully charged. All right, man. But yeah. Oh, whoa. Come on. See, I don't understand the point of that, man. Get out of here, dude. All right, man. I realized we didn't even turn our lights back on either. I think I'm gonna ride with the lights on just for the last two, um, the last two pickups. I think that'll be a good idea. We just ride with, with the lights on for the last two pickups. All right, we go. We came in this time. I was about to say, is that a cop? Because he's definitely about to get hit. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and just back it up into his spot right there behind the Caprice. All right, here we go. Get it back just a little bit more. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and leave our lights on for the rest of the uh, towing job. We got two more cars to go ahead and pick up. And they're both down there by uh, by the beach. So we're gonna make our way down to the beach. We're gonna make our, yeah, we're gonna make our way to the beach, pick up these cars down at the beach, man. Should be pretty good. We to leave our lights on so we can get down here without any problems. I thought this light was gonna be red. All right. Oh, I said it was 155. All right. All right. I'm gonna go around these dudes here. Go around these dudes here. What's that shit saying? Oh, fuck you, huh? All right, man. We got one car that's actually to the right, which is a full-on repo. We gotta go ahead and pick that up. We're gonna pick that one up first, and then we got another car on the beach, which is a another repo, the last repo. But it's uh, on top of it being a repo, it's blocking um, some stores on the beach, so they want it removed ASAP. So uh, it's a win-win for the it's a it's a win-win for Simeon because he gets his uh, repo car back, and uh, it doesn't you know nothing happens to it. All right, but here's the one car, just sitting, chilling here. Let's go ahead and get ready back into it. There we go, man. Let me see. Should I pull it out? It will probably pull it out. We'll probably pull it out to the right. Got to go ahead and... Oh, I done tapped it and everything already. I done set the alarm on. Let's hurry up before the owner... Hurry up before the owner come inside. I ain't got time for the owner to come outside, man. So we're gonna hurry up before the owner, owner come outside. Got the alarm on this guy going up. All 
right, there we go, man. We got that Hama H Tope. Oh well, I think this, yeah, this is a Hummer H2, ain't it? I think I think this is the yeah, this is the H2. I thought this was the H3 for some reason, but I forgot the H3 has um, a little bit deeper wheel arches and stuff. I think it's what I think it's what they call it? wheel arches. See, man, I'd be so off with some of this stuff. There's another Hummer right there. But man, Simeon be paying, he be running out of hummers. I don't know how you do that. Alright, here we go, man. I think I'm going to go ahead and park this um, behind the shop. Instead of uh, going by the side where all the other cars are at. I'm going to park this and the other car that we're about to pick up behind the shop. Because we're kind of running we're kind of running out of room uh, on that side of the shop anyway. Especially to work with definitely running out of room so we're going to just park it right here back here so I'm gonna probably leave it right right about here we're just going to drop that all right so the next car will drop probably off right there Look at this man all right let's go to get back down to the beach because you know our last car is at the beach which is a um we already know what it is because it was one of those exotic cars dude must have thought he had like high priority or something it's a uh, celine s5 raptor i believe if you guys don't remember uh and by raptor i don't mean ford f-150 raptor so i know a lot of people get that you know confused like that like the ford f-150 is the only raptor uh you know the only vehicle that's a raptor and we got oh we got gang members after us now you see what i'm saying being a repo man they coming to get us they coming to get us now because they 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 like this man and repoed our two other cars they coming for me man they coming for me they interfere with my job down here dealing with this um the s5 raptor then we we might have to get out on hook now we roll with one light I'm going to make this to the left. Oh, they ain't even going. They must be at a red. Yep, at a red. All right, here we go. Let's go to pick up this S5, the Celine S5 Raptor. Look at it, man. Look at it. Another. Insane dunk. I mean, not dunk, but uh, I said no. What? Insane car right here, man. This tow truck is insane. That's that's an insane dunk. This tow truck is insane right here. This is another car that you also wouldn't um, repo like this. You would have to uh, put it on a flatbed because it sits a little bit too low. All right, can I even? Oh, I don't think I can fit through this. Oh, the alarm's going off. Oh yeah, I can't fit through this. My back wheels will get stuck, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well well since they're modded uh wheels, they, they went straight through. Alright, so there we go. We got lucky. Just cause these wheels are a little modded and uh, they stick out a little bit, this the part that sticks out, uh it doesn't make it doesn't really um you know stop anything from happening, so we got lucky man, we got lucky. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fix up the tow truck as well. So we have our front light back on there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go around right here, man. These dudes, I, I really, sometimes, man, sitting at these lights, it just, it's just so dead, man. I can't sit at these lights. Yeah, there we go. Everybody turning, I like that. We gotta make our way to uh, Simeon's shop now. Uh, we're on the last repo here. At least I ain't hit you, fam. Now look at how low. Look at look at how low the S5 Raptor is in the back to the ground. Let me let me see. Can I let me drop my winch down a little bit? I can't even drop my winch. It's not dropping. It's not letting me drop it. Alright. 
I was just gonna lower it down a little bit so this car wouldn't be so jacked up. Cause it's like it's jacked up all the way. We're just scraping that bumper and that diffuser. All right, so we're going to go around these dudes here. Oh, what I'm talking about. All right, drop the last car off. See if we can squeeze past this Hummer. Ooh, that's a tight fit. That was a tight fit. All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and just drop it right here. Wow, that's, that's the high... That's the lowest I have it. I can't drop it any lower. This thing is jacked all the way up. We really should have had a flatbed for this. Alright, so now that we done did that, now we gotta go and pick up our Camaro. And, uh, that's basically it, man. Pick up the Camaro and, uh, I guess we'll, uh, with the Camaro, we'll probably drop the, we'll leave the Camaro at Simeon's and, uh, we'll just have him hold it for us. Uh, maybe let him rent it out if he want to, maybe. That'll make us some money in uh, turn, and then we could eventually probably open up our own little car dealership or something, and uh, start renting cars out and stuff. You know what I mean, man? You know what I mean? And then we'll have to go and repo our own cars back if we um, have any issues. But let's go pick up this. Uh, let's go pick up this Camaro, man. Because uh, this car can't be driven on the street without you know without being towed. It has to be towed. It's really not street legal, and it has no grip uh, whenever it's uh, not being towed. So, or well, when it's being driven on the regular roads, you know, with turns and stuff. So that's what to be here on the roads. So there you go, right there. I think that's the last spot that we had it in. That's where we left it at once we finished up drag racing. I think we had like ran out of gas or something and we just was like bump it. We're gonna leave it here and just tow it later once we do our repo towing episodes or something. Right, so let's go ahead and we drop the flat bit. I mean, we drop the uh, winch back, by the way. Go to hook up, there we go. There we go. Got the Camaro, this is another car that you will put on a flatbed instead. Um, but it's all good, man. We'll go ahead and just uh, we'll transport it with the tow truck. The tow truck dunk right here, man. We're just going to drop this off at Simeon's and uh, call it a day. Woo, look at that. All right, I'm gonna probably drop this off out uh, in the front instead, cause this is no repo or anything. So uh, we could probably drop this off in the front. Oh boy, we're about to lose it right now. Look at that man, we're scraping it. Did we lose a wheel or something? What's going on? Oh, we got some damage back there. Jesus. Definitely about to go ahead and garage this. Oh well, leave it here at Simeon's, man. He, he probably can't even rent it out now until I get it fixed. drop it right here. I ain't even worried about dropping a winch down for it because it's already screwed up. Alright, I'm going to ride on the sidewalk just to get back around. There we go. Alright, so with that being said, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of the real life mod if you guys did make sure you guys drop a like down below hit that subscribe button if you have not already and uh, make sure you guys turn on those post notifications so you'll be notified when your boy goes live as well as when i post uh videos as well like this one so you don't miss any of these and um yeah man make sure you guys uh follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter those links are in the description as well and i will catch you guys in the next video or live stream later on today man peace on out